Yoshi and Pretty. Big Art. All right, so Yoshi, um, I I've not seen Bigums compete, but he's got the yo, he's got the e the clean Evo. Yeah, yeah. The, funny enough, these are actually both uh, IE players and the okay, Empire cool. players. Um, Yoshi Freak, a little bit more well known uh, here yes. in SoCal. Uh, he's been competing for a long, long time here with the Mr. Game and Watch. Uh, Bigums, uh, Temecula player. He's um, been competing a little bit less time, but he's here to show what he's got today. Uh, hopefully, you know, get an upside on Yoshi Freak. Yo, representing to Mex. Let's go. And of course, the cloud coming in. Now, this matchup in Smash 4, Ooh. not the biz, but Ooh. yo, Game and Watch got the upgrades, man. He, uh, he. I think this is Game and Watch's best game. Yeah, Game and Watch is actually so cool in this game. Like, he's got so many amazing tools now. The Uppy has shields, crazy. So um, infuriating to deal with. Yeah. I don't yeah. know why, but uh, for some reason in SoCal, Game & Watch is we pretty have, popular. We have like, too many of them here. Yeah, like <laughs> but Yoshi Freak, one of our better ones here, but Bigum says, I don't care how good of a Game & Watch he is, this matchup still might not be the hotness for him, and right. I'm going to come in with the cloud and show him how it goes. Yeah, I was talking to, to DeBuzz about this matchup at SmashCon, and Game & Watch is really good, and he has like probably the best out-of-shield option in terms of like damage yeah. output and how fast it comes out. But if you outrange Game & Watch and you out like strength him, like yeah. you can just abuse killing him really early, which Cloud does both, um, yeah. you could have a, a really easier time because you don't necessarily have to deal with the out-of-shield option, right? If you're doing all these safe back air pokes or forward air pokes like we see Bigums doing, then you're not going to take too much damage. Yeah, and the other thing is Game & Watch's approaches aren't that great. You know, he lost a front hitbox in his photo. It's now the bomb. He has to approach with, like, a backer or something or a dash attack. But Cloud doesn't have to approach him, especially with the lead he has. Yeah. Game & Watch is a better defensive character. And, and unfortunately, Yoshi Freak isn't being able to display that, really. Yeah, you got the Gimp, though. Of course, everyone can Gimp Cloud. He has a little bit more mix-ups in this game with the directional air dodge. But uh, Yoshi Freak's definitely making it work. But the scary thing about, like, Cloud... You're spacing fair, you're spacing back here, right? And then all these moves that you're like safely spacing for damage, they also kill. Yeah. We saw the forward air take the first stock from Yoshi Freak, so, or yeah, off of Yoshi Freak. Oh, there's a cross slash. Ooh. Ooh, I love the directional air dodge backwards, makes it so he cannot get punished by that dash grab. And both these characters actually have uh, very good up Bs out of shield. Um, yeah. Game & Watch usually has that range, so he's probably not going to get upbeat out of shield too often. But man, that Nutra is also a very great juggling tool. It's pretty much a sword move, because you can't really contest that uh, whatever it is, the bucket of fish. I think it's a fishbowl, yeah. Fishbowl? Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. You know, his uh, sea life is uh, quite disjointed, being the turtle back here in the fishbowl, but... You know, Center stage. Yeah, the back air just going to kill, especially on such a light character such as Game & Watch, you know? He's got to be careful. He can't be taking these trades. Do, do you still play a little bit of Cloud in this game or not? A little bit here and there. Okay. I've been playing him a lot more recently with, you know, seeing Spargo on the right, right. and stuff. Spargo uh, leading the pack, man. Yeah. Really showing what this character can do. Uh, it's still rough. I think he still has some pretty rough matchups. But overall, not as bad as a lot of people thought in the beginning because they're more so just like, man, look what they did to Nair. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. You know, a lot of people are selling Cloud pretty short in the very beginning. Oh, wow. Very sneaky forward air coming out from Yoshi Freak. And that's a, a move that everyone thought was like pretty bad in the in the start, it and then it, it's it definitely has its use. It's more of like a setup tool. Uh, you can kind of like throw it out and then like drift away. It's like decently safe neutral. Oh wow! Yeah, Bigums you know trying to go for the kill right now. Oh, that could be big, but no, he doesn't get the up B equip. Bigums, he's going in right now, but a great jump right there. Gonna get him out of disadvantage and just reset into center stage here. Oh, there's that up B out of shield, and that's the crazy thing about. Uh, Game & Watch, you actually combo off of it. The combo itself doesn't do too much damage, but you gain so much positioning. You set up for another juggle situation, and then after the after that, you just set up into a situation where it's like, oh, if you fall down with an aerial, I'm going to nair you out. Yeah, and what I'm expecting Big Gums to burn the limit. There it is right now. Ooh, I like that. Kind of like a drag down nair into the up tilt. Very nice uh, combo string coming out here from Yoshi Freak. Big Gums got the rage, though. So if he gets one solid hit, that could be Yoshi Freak's stock, but an offstage situation. Yeah, the high recovery, I like it. Be reversing yeah. the up B just to throw in Yoshi Freak saying, do not try and challenge this. My sword will outrange what you have. A great jump at the oh, Nair catches him and sends him back into stage. How much longer can he survive, though? I don't know. Game & Watch isn't actually killing him with these hits. Ah! <laughs> no dash attack? Yeah, I'm very surprised. Yoshi Freak not pulling the trigger. The Nair still not going to do it, man. This limit, though. No. Oh. The air dodge was so scary, but only an up yard shield is going to be the point. Now Limit is back online. Yoshi oh, he has to be so up incredibly he careful. Didn't, he didn't up yard a shield. He, that, was the, that was the match. It's okay. He does get the down and puts Yoshi Freak above him. He dash attacks oh. and killed. 
No way! 199% on Bigums, and he sneaks that Game 1 victory right under Yoshi Freak's nose, man. What a Game 1. What a way to start off this wave. Yeah, and the show has just begun right now. You know, he, we saw him surviving for so long. That was kind of a choke a little bit from Yoshi Freak. He, the dash attack. The dash attack of the ledge. I mean, that, he that's went high. He, yeah, and that's why he set up yeah. those bacons or whatever is coming out yeah. of those frying pans. You know, he set that up so he like either had to force a directional air dodge or force him to hit through that, right? Yeah. And then just, like you said, just no trigger getting pulled from Yoshi Freak there. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened. Maybe just, just Hey, man, forgot, you're on I, stage. I don't know. You're, you're on nerves, stage. You're, you're, you're on stream. You know, the nerves kick in, man. It's it's yeah, not easy. You know, playing a tough matchup like this can be exhausting already in his round one. You know, he's got to be feeling the pressure on, like, oh, man, this guy's giving me a, the, ru my ru the run for my money here uh, in my round one. You know, it's stressful. Yeah, and that one there not fully connecting, that definitely would have been death, the one that he fell out of. Yeah. Like, there, there were so many situations that were so close, and you can imagine it being, like, pretty tilting, but I know Yoshi Freak is a veteran of a player, so I definitely can see him bouncing back from this and coming into this game number two with a fresh mind. Yeah, and already starting off 64 unanswered percent onto Big Ums. It feels like Yoshi Freak can start to figure out the pattern just a little bit better. Yeah, and he's getting all this damage, but it really comes down to, uh, oh, yeah. It really comes down to, honestly, is how can you take this stock from Cloud, right? Because we've seen Bigums utilize all this rage. Okay, finally wait, attacking wait, on wait. some damage with the limit. Okay, yep, nice. Up the out of shield. Big damage. There's a cross slash, the down tilt pressure. And I'm, I feel like we're seeing Bigums on the approach a lot more. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Um, Bigum's really trying to knock on this shield and sometimes in an unsafe manner. And even look at that, Yoshi for utilizing the up B as an anti air because you have that intangibility. Yeah. And from the corner pressure, we see the turtle coming in, getting that sock. Yeah, I'd really like to see Bigum's take a step back, play a little more patient like he was on game one and just space out these back airs instead of just running up to Yoshi V calling shield and pressing a button and hoping he drops it. Yeah, we're seeing a lot more committal options, down tilt, side B coming out from Bigum's as where we saw a lot more forwarders and back airs, right, in game number one. Okay, I like that. He just ran up and said, wait a sec. If I charge limit, you have to stop me. And all of a sudden, now Yoshi Freak is the one holding forward. Yeah, exactly. Oh, there's the down air. Into oh, jeez. Oh, no, Yoshi Freak using that down air, not necessarily as a hitbox, but a way to get away from that situation, which I really like. Because they did make that change in this patch, right? Where uh, yeah. down airs that like have downward momentum instantly go down. Yeah, you can't stall out there by doing it during hit stun anymore. Which is really interesting. That's honestly a pretty big change to the game. The juggles, and here's that Nair. What are you going to do to beat this out? Is there a double jump on Bigums? No, he just falls right down. Oh, oh the, the down smash. Hot. Man, he's very lucky he didn't get buried there. Yeah, and again, just outspacing the barrier just a little bit. Oh. No. Oh, man. He, I thought he out. double jumped right into the light, bro. That only had one charge from that? That's surprising. Oh. But speaking of jumping right into the light, jumping <laughs> right into Game Watch, getting hit with the upbeat and getting stage spiked for it. I like the smash DI coming out from Yoshi Freak. You can, it, it is multiple hits on that up B. Yeah. So depending on where you get hit, you can DI out and fall out of the uh, whole up B combo. I like that, retreating back to the platform with the fair, really utilizing some of these platforms here on Town and City. And there's the forward air, and there's the straight hit that'll take Yoshi Freak straight left. Up air juggles, catch the landing. Yep, there we go. Calls out the jump, this is gonna force the limit. Another thing about Game on Watch too is you you can be pretty shield heavy in terms like yeah. you don't get much off a of grab only at like earlier percent you can get like down throw and air but oh yeah man that juggles the up air is so good it's pretty much just like a disjoint that travels yeah. up and there's the up smash and wow That's exactly <laughs> what Yoshi Freak was looking for he said this won't kill you but I'm gonna keep doing it until you think it'll kill you and then you try and escape looks for the air dodge gets it gets an up smash and takes game two. Yoshi Freak with the true heart of a competitor, man. Sometimes game one can end in a very tragic way, yeah. but you got to make sure you have the ability to reset. You know what I mean? You could have had the lead, SD game one, or something really yeah. like quote unquote dumb happen to you, but you got to be able to reset, take that deep breath, go into game two with a fresh mind, know exactly what you did wrong, and bring it into game two. And that's exactly what Yoshi Freak did here. Yeah, so Big Um's going to be running it back to the stage he won on with Pokemon Stadium 2. I like that he was definitely using the space a lot better on Pokemon Stadium. Just, you know, saying, you can come to me, right. playing with the platforms a little bit. Uh, it looked like maybe he wasn't comfortable with Town and City as much as, uh, yeah. as this. It gives Game & Watch a lot of room to work with. Yeah. Uh, PS2 still a decent amount of room, but uh, definitely not no Town and City. Yeah. 
Oh, wow. And I, I think Yoshi Freak can up B his up B. Yeah, he definitely did that uh, to open up this stock and get 71 damage now. Oh, man, getting hit by both hits of that up B. Because that's another thing. Clouds will just YOLO the up B because it's a very large hitbox. You know what I mean? It, it catches a lot of people jumping and everybody loves to jump in ultimate, man. You want to you wanna get up in the air and throw out your great no lag aerials, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, tries to get the drop zone. Okay, wow, picks it right back up, though. I love the yes. edge guard from Yoshi Freak. Doesn't Yoshi get the stock, but, like, a lot of damage, right? Not even taking a breath here, just keeping the pressure onto Bigums right now. Is he going to be able to get off this ledge? Yoshi Freak gives oh. him the... That down air initial hitbox is still very large. Oh, my God, and now Bigums all of a sudden getting an opening and making so much out okay. of it. This is what we saw in game number one, where Yoshi Freak just kept going and going and going, but never killed him, and Bigums was able to get an earlier stock for it. Oh man, he's trying to bust his sword through this air, but it's oh, not working out. Ooh, beautiful. And that was looking scary, honestly, for Yoshi Freak, because he was glowing blue, right? He had the max rage on deck. I don't know about that one, <laughs> Yes. Hey, he's trying to go for a hard read. I guess. It, it's just it's just a tough one to justify because he didn't like really pressure him in a way of like forcing him yeah, to Yeah, he had right. no reason to like get up into that. That was just I hope this works, you know? <laughs> right, right, right. The, sometimes you gotta throw out the Hail Marys, but Yoshi Freak is like, Hail Mary me all you want. I'm gonna get this young up air damage. And look at this platform pressure. Where's he gonna go? Where? Oh, setting up the bomb. Got a limit. Oh, straight to the ledge here. Oh, another forward smash. Uh, yet another Hail Mary. Maybe Bigum's feeling a, a little desperate here for the stalk, exactly you know? Exactly what I was thinking. It's really starting to show here. You know, Game Watch is a light character, and when he's not, he, when you aren't even able to kill that, you know, it, it starts to really. Frustrating. Oh, and there's the getup attack. He felt so cornered, wanted to release some kind of pressure. Cloud does have a great getup attack, yeah. but the w bomb went right up and over. Oh, but Dash got going straight through the bomb and hitting Yoshi. Free, gonna get the stop. Yeah, I feel like if, if Bigum's gonna throw something wild, like Dash attack can kill Game and Watch, right? And it's not as laggy as that forward smash, so maybe more of a go-to option. Because Dash, to me, Dash attack's pretty much an, uh, a grounded up air. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, it's it pretty really strong. is. Okay, there's the back air. Okay, I like this. Bigum's showing a lot more back air, a lot more safe folks. Drifting back with the cross slash. Okay, what's going to be the landing catch here? Yoshi doing the directional air dodge right to that platform, the safe haven almost for him. Ooh, an anti-air coming out with the neutral B. Another bomb set up. Cross slash. Not going to get punished. Up B out of shield. Oh. Man, we're just, we're up B. <laughs> yeah, and that was really great from Yoshifu because he crossed up Bigum's shield with the dash attack. Yeah. So even when he tried to up the ass shield, he missed and then got punished for it. And we're about to be glowing blue. Here it is. Bigum's with the limit. Can he make a play up, down, all around? We're getting to the ledge. And now here he has to deal with these up airs. This is the worst position for him to be in. The forward oh. air. Oh, and, and now. no longer blue. Yep. <laughs> he, he has uh, lost his blue powers. Back here, almost killing, but not quite. But he has to be so careful. Up yeah. That'll do it. One edge guard there from Yoshi Freak. And after a really close game one that he dropped, it was pretty dominant, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I, I just feel like Bigum's just tried rushing it, honestly. I, I feel like the first two stocks he played in game one were very, very patient. And yeah. that is something that can happen in bracket. You know, you start losing that patient. It is very 